it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. I don't know if you noticed some new additions to my craft room. I love these little girls. <laughs> so um, anyway, today we're not doing off the mat, which I love to do. We're actually doing a cake topper. So, and I have new cameras in, so I'm super excited to do a cake topper with an overhead view. So I'm gonna switch over to that right now. And, all right, so. You can see all I have right here. I'm gonna move this over a little bit. So you're gonna need a glue gun, um, some scotch tape, glue tape, and um, I have some tools here just in case, like um, you know, a little pick in case we need it. I love this little guy. It is We Are Memory Keepers. It's the quick stick. So this side is putty. It helps me pick up the little pieces. This side kind of pushes back anything that I don't want in there, like. Um, residue from the glue tape or something like that all right so that's about it and oh for this one you do need thread so we're trying this is not a new concept I've done it before um, I did a twinkle twinkle little star one and I had the stars spinning so here the coins are gonna we're gonna have three coins and they're gonna spin as the birthday boy blows out the candle that's like I'm hoping that it works on this one it worked on my last one but you just never know um, okay so I'm gonna turn on the glue gun so actually let me plug it in that would help and I do love this glue gun I'll take a minute to plug it real quick um, it's cool because it has a little holder to catch all of your glue drippings and it has a stand so when you're done you can just put it down it's cordless I really do I, I love this I love this one so why is my thing not oh there it is um, okay so this is what we're doing today now normally I only do, I don't even do two copies of the, the backing, but I knew this was gonna be a little bit weak because I wanted the hanging coins right here. So normally on a cake topper, if you think about it, this whole piece right here is black and then all our colors and all of our pieces go on top. So knowing that this structure is not that sturdy, I did three backgrounds, okay? And that's because to keep the Super Mario up here, it's only hanging up there through this flower and through this little guy, the, uh, I forget his name, but anyway, um, so you can see what I mean. And this one, I made a mistake. I didn't realize that I did this. I would have made this a little bit more firm by having it completely in black, okay? So that's on there, so we know what it's supposed to look like. What I wanna do is we'll use this one for the top, and then we'll put the two sticks in, and then we'll fortify it with two in the back, okay? So let's do that first. Now the first thing, actually, um, I already did the coins. I did five out of the six coins. And really, we're only gonna have three coins here, but you're gonna want front and back. So when it spins, there is no back, it's always a coin. So that's why we needed six, even though there are just three coins. So I left one to show you how I put it together. Um, but everything else, I kinda want it to stand out a little bit. So we're going to put little glue drops so that it creates that space for us. So let's just flip this over, and what I mean is, the glue gun's still warming up, so I'll let that warm up. Let's do the coin. So with the coin, I have to admit, I weeded the wrong pieces. I got rid of the, the wrong pieces, and I already taped down the first one before I realized that I was, I was supposed to keep the second layer, but it's okay, it doesn't matter as long as you're consistent, right? So um, you're gonna want your glue tape for this, and I'm just gonna have this little piece right here so that it doesn't get on my mat. So turn it over, and this is really thin, so you just wanna make sure you get it. And then the other thing is, sometimes with the glue residue, you get it like a little webbing, you wanna make sure you pop it, and then you put it down. And this is such a small little detail, which is why I didn't recut everything, um, even though I chose to keep the wrong pieces. It's, you barely see it, so I'm not too worried about the spacing. I just wanna make sure that it all gets on there. You have a little bit of glimmer with um, 
the gold shimmer paper. So you see that? And then I did gold glitter cardstock. So it's two different types of paper. And I always like to mix up my papers anyway because it really gives your um, project like a finished look. And I like to mix it up with colors and textures and also the depth of everything. Now this one's not gonna have a lot of depth because it's all kind of just one layer. Um, the really standout piece is will be the coins. And normally I have like a lot more characters and they're kind of popping out, but I needed to leave this space open. So that's why I'm, this one's gonna be a little bit more one dimensional in that sense, um, but I think it'll still look good. Okay, so I think my glue gun is pretty hot right now. So behind here, let's flip everything over and you'll see what I mean by creating a glue, like a spacer. I'm just gonna put one big dot in the middle like that, okay? And I'm gonna let it dry. I'm gonna do it on this one as well. And I'm just gonna let it dry. So, because I don't have the foam tape and in this project with it being so big, the foam tape probably would have been just as easy, but sometimes I'm creating this space on really delicate pieces and the foam tape is too wide or too long and you're gonna to need to trim it. So I really like using the precision tip on the glue gun and being able to create these spacers, okay? So we're gonna do that and then on each of the letters of the name, so I'm just gonna flip it over and we're just gonna create the little glue drops. And you see I'm doing it so that when I put this down, it's gonna be even, right? So the A has two, that way it's not gonna be, you know, <laughs> lopsided. So you just wanna make sure that when you're doing this, um, you want to create balance and it will, whoa, it will also help create balance is when you first put it down, you keep your finger on it to, so that you can make it stable and it'll dry like that. So I'm going to show you what I mean when we get there, but right now we're just creating everything so that it dries and then we'll glue it together. Okay, and I definitely want to put it on this five, raise this five up. Okay. Um, now this little guy, we can definitely do that on this because it's multiple pieces. So I made a mistake when I did it in design space. I should have cut out another black, but I didn't. So the white is going to have to actually go behind the black. So this black border is also part of the black here, okay? But we can we can create the the, the space with the, the green. So let's do our little glue dots here. Okay. Uh, so that's there. Let's see. The bricks, I feel like because there's so many, we can just make it flat because these will be next to the brick and they'll give it a little bit of depth because it's going back and forth. And let's just do the super and then we'll be done with our spacers, okay? And then we'll get to doing assembling the coins. Okay, so I want to make sure you can see this. Okay. And you can see I'm always working on my self-healing mat. I love it because it wipes clean. Well, I have little stains here and there, um, but it, I cut on it and any glue comes right off. So I, I really do love this mat. And it's a nice and big one. It's 24 by 36. So, ah, uh, and that one just flipped over. Ah! I'm getting. <laughs> All right. So I'm just going to leave it here while it dries before I pick up everything. Okay. 
not the first time it happened and pretty sure not the last time <laughs> all right um okay so that's all done um all right so let's lift this up and this white piece let's just put down Let's just get some tape. It doesn't really matter where the tape is because the white is gonna be completely um, covered. Except for the outline. It's the, the white is giving us the outline. And let's see, where's our little green? Here's our green. So we just wanna make sure we don't get it in the hole right there. So where we're gonna do the white, is let's just do the face because we know the face is completely covered. So here's my little thing. And actually with this, I'm just gonna hit it with a little glue gun right here. Okay, I'm gonna, oh, we're gonna do it on this one, I think. Okay. So hit it with a little glue gun, and then let's put the green on. So the green, this is dried. Now we're gonna put a little bit of glue and actually use it as glue. So I'm gonna put our little guy over here. This is what we're assembling everything on. So when you put this on, just keep your fingers on it and make sure that it's balanced and then it will dry that way. Even though we don't have anything underneath the thin part, it will stay like that once you put it on. Okay, now the face, where is our face? Okay, here's our face. <laughs> um, the face is with a really light cardstock, so I don't wanna use the hot glue gun because it might warp it. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit it with the tape. And when you do this, the little eyes, the little slits for the eyes will have webbing. So I just poke through it just so that I'm kinda like popping the webbing and then we'll put it down. Now the white didn't show through that well on that one, so I'm tempted later, I'm gonna take like a white marker and put like the two little eye dots, but that's minor. <laughs> All right, so let's start doing the letters. So the nice thing about this one is um, when you create the offset, you, on this one I didn't need to create the offset because the SVG file came like that, but it's nice because this one has an outline, you know exactly where the letters go. So let's just put a little bit of glue here. But if you wanted to create one more offset outside of that, you just have to upload it into um, Inkscape and that's how I do it. I have other tutorials for you to, to do that, um, to watch and follow along, it's super easy. So I'm just kind of putting pieces together. So put a little glue there. So I'm just keeping my finger there to make sure that it's very balanced, okay? Let's do this one. Now the tutorial for design space is coming out this week as well as this one. Um, I gotta say, I loved this file because of the images that I got. Um, but it was a very difficult file to work with. And so I think it's a good, a good tutorial to follow because not all designers are the same on Etsy and you're gonna run into this problem and it'll be nice to know how to fix it because it's not that the designer made a mistake. That's just their style of designing and they gave us, and what I mean by that is, um, 
like everything had multiple shades. So instead of it all coming over as green, for instance, I needed to manipulate that and change all of it and weld it. So it's just, a, it's a good practice because it's not the first time that I've had that happen with an Etsy designer. So definitely watch the video for that. Okay. Um, okay. Let's see here. And you're probably wondering why I didn't put the boy's name on here. And that's because that's on the cake. So sometimes I like, you know, being able to alternate what's on here versus what's on the candles. So sometimes we want numbers, sometimes we want more characters. It's really, um, you know, just building the cake topper and all the different layers. And I don't know if you can see it, but I can see it from here that it's kind of popping out. So it just looks really, really good. It's gonna give you that extra, like more dimension to it, a little bit of depth. And so you can, um, it just looks more polished, more expensive, <laughs> more professional. So just get all those layers in. And this one, like I was saying earlier in the video, um, I don't have as many layers as I usually do. And I love doing some kind of like extra thing to it. So normally there's like a, a shaker or a slider portion, but on this one, it's just, we're doing the coins. So we're focusing on the coins. Okay, so here's the five that goes on top of here. So what I like about this is this is already a little bit high and then the five is gonna sit like a little bit higher on that. So it's really gonna give it that extra like little oomph that you need to separate your cake topper from others. Okay. All right. So let's do the letters on top. And on this one, I would definitely opt, even though it's a small cake topper, I would opt for two sticks. And the reason is because if one goes in the middle, it's where the coin is, so it's not gonna be able to spin, but also to give it more stability, you're just gonna have two. Um, and on this one, I'm, I am kind of worried about it. Oops, hold on, let me get. It's a lot easier to get all that webbing out right now before you put it down. Of course, we always go over it one more time to clean it up. And when you do clean it up later when everything is on, I do like using one of these tools to just kind of go in there, pick up the, the stray glue strand and get it out of there. This is looking really cute. I don't know if it's coming through on the video, but I, I love the colors. And I think I'm just nostalgic for this video game. It's, it's the last one that I was able to beat. Every video game that came out afterwards was too hard for me. So I love this video, this video game. If I could play it again, I would. My brother and I used to play it so much. Okay. This is really, really cute. I'm really loving this one. And also when you're taking orders and depending, you know, depending on the client and what they have, what kind of cake they have, it really gives you the, um, the idea of like, should you make this more simple or more, you know, more fancy? It's really gonna depend on how simple their cake is, the rest of their cake. Okay, pulling that out. Okay, so this is all down. Um, let's put together the flour and then the bricks. And, okay. And this is all just gonna be I'm gonna use 
I like the Tombow one. It, it gets it a little bit better, I think. Okay, so here we go. I mean, normally I would love to do this and make it stand out a little bit, but these pieces are so small. I'm just, and you also need some pieces that are flat, so. I'm, oh man, I'm also opting for just what's easiest for me at this point. I think I put these on backwards. That's okay. <laughs> Do you see on that one? I don't know if you can. Just want to make sure that webbing is out. And this whole time, let's see. Okay. Um, and I always, I like to save my sc scrap, my scratch paper, scrap paper for cardstock. And I use that to just do my glue. But for my glitter card stock, I save it to reuse again on another project. So in case you're wondering where I draw the line. Now, if you're interested in the, the sliders and the shakers, I have lots of videos on that. I also have a template. So if you don't want to create it, which I do show you how to create it, but if you don't want to create that and just have a template, it's a dollar on Creative Fabrica. And I have a link for that. So I appreciate the support. Um, but it's just a dollar. And then that way, every time you go to make a slider shaker, you can just bring in the template and then just start designing. All right, so this is all down except for the brick. So for the brick, uh, all right. Um, I think it's just gonna be easiest to do the tape, the glue tape. It is an easy pattern to put down. It's two long ones and then three and then two. So let's just get it done. And can you see how there's a difference in depth? I don't know if you can see it on the video, but the, the gold squares kind of pop up a little bit. The five is an extra layer and you can actually see the shadow of the five. So that just gives it that extra, extra thing to make it a little professional looking. All right, my little brick is stuck. Okay, here we go. I'm just gonna do one side and then I won't do the other side of the brick because it'll be the same. And I put that on a little bit here. Oh, it's on there good. Okay, that's okay. These little pieces. I was so tempted to weld them somehow or make it easier, but I felt like we were missing the details if we did that. So this piece is kind of hard for me to get into. So I'm gonna take this guy and see how it sticks on. And then that way I can tap it down and then move my finger. All right, and see how easy it picks up. These pieces are still big, but um, you can see why I love that. How cute is that so far, right? I really messed up the spacing of the bricks on this side. <laughs> okay, so let's get let's get started on the coins. So for the coins, what you wanna do is, you wanna get, where's my thread? Here's my thread. Let's make the thread just really long. Don't, um, you know it has to go from top to bottom like this, okay? So um, 
Don't make it too short because we can't add to it, but we can always trim it down. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of the glue gun. And I wanna make the string taut, okay? And then just put this one on top. Okay, so that's one. Those are my three strings. Let's put this one down. And then our last one. Okay, so we have all those. So while we're waiting for that to really just, I wanna dry it before um, before we continue. So let's just finish out the bricks because that's the last thing we need to do. I don't like that one. This is the one I like, okay. Let's see if I can do a better job putting it on this time. A little bit more straight. But luckily all the other details are so stinking cute, I don't think anyone's gonna notice. I am sticking to everything today. <laughs> all right, here we go. Okay, I was able to push that one a little bit more. So you see where we're going with this? I had to cut extra bricks because I lost one and then I had to recut it. So I was like, might as well recut the whole thing just in case I need it. And I'm just sure I'm gonna find that extra piece somewhere later, <laughs> as always, right? Okay, one more piece and then we're almost done. Okay, so we're done with that. Now I want to put down, so I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna line it up. See how there's a straight line? I'm lining it up here so that I can kind of get a feel for where the coins should be. So I'm gonna put down, I'm gonna line up my coins so that they're spread out some, you know, as evenly as I can do it. first so let's just make sure that these we like where they are okay so this first one let's hold that there and we're gonna glue we're gonna glue it down okay so once we put this on I want you to hold both sides of the string and get it straight Okay, so that it dries straight. We want the string to be super taut. 
So we're going to do, we're going to let it dry here. And then later afterwards, we're, you know, we're going to tape it down a little bit more just to make sure it's not going anywhere. Okay, so same thing with this one. So while that's drying, we're now, I'm going to tape down that top part. I just want to make sure this thing is as tight as can be because I want to be able to pull it down and make it tight when we do the bottom part. So I'm going to grab some scotch tape, make sure this thing is tight. And then once I have this, I'm going to do a little bit more of the glue, the glue gun up here in between the tape and the original spot. Just to make sure it's not going anywhere and up here. Now on this one, I'm going to cut it off because it's too long. Okay, so while that's drying, what we can do is we can take these two and tape them together to make it strong. We're gonna put our sticks in here and this is gonna go, this is our back layer, okay? So these two need to um, stick together. So I'm just gonna take my glue, my hot glue gun I did such a bad job of lining it up. Okay, I think it's okay because it's in black, but I did a really bad job of lining it up. I probably should have laid it down first and picked up this part, glued down this half, and picked up this part and glued down this part, but that's okay. So now I'm just going to glue where it didn't stick as well. I want to make this sturdy so the glue the extra glue layer will help too um, as well as it being a double okay all right so now let's do the bottom of this okay so each coin we want it really tight because let me see Did you see it spin? Oh, hold on. <laughs> that was probably too small for you to see it spin. It was blowing. <laughs> all right, so I think it'll be easier once I get it all taped down. So let's pull one at a time. And let's tape it down. So you see how it moves? Yay! Okay, we'll do it for these two. Oh no, did I get them tangled up? Okay, hold on, let me switch to the... Okay, here we go. So you see how I taped down the first one? Let's tape down this one. And really tight, okay, you want... Okay. 
And then we need to trim the, um, the thread. So you see, yay! So pretty. Okay, so that's all down. Um, now we're gonna put this on here. And you see, um, sorry. Now it's much more stable, right? There's nothing, even though this is really top heavy, look it, not, it's not going anywhere. And look at our coins. Yay. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna switch back to this view so you can see. Okay, um, so on this one, I am gonna listen to my advice and I'm gonna put it down and then I'm gonna glue it. So I'm gonna lift up, so this is already down. I'm gonna lift this up. Oh, hold on. Whoa, my stick. Okay, that's not what I wanted to do. Let's put this down, line it up so that our sticks will go in evenly. Actually, let me put it up here so you can really see. So these are the extra bricks, we don't need it. So you wanna line it up. And we know we're gonna put a stick here down the middle of the flower and down this guy. So you wanna make sure they're even. And it's easy to do it here because you have all your grid lines and you know where it ends. So in this case, I wanna make sure. And I'm actually gonna move it up even a little bit higher so you can see the end of my stick. So they're both ending right here so it's even, okay? So I'm gonna take my glue gun on this first one and I'm gonna get it on both sides, okay? And you're gonna to have to hold it for a little bit. So make sure it's straight and put it down. Okay, that's pretty good. So on this one, it moved up a little bit as I was doing it. So I just wanna make sure it's straight. Let's put it down. I need to put another glue stick, so give me a second. And then do the glue on this side. Then we're gonna put this on top. So with this, I'm definitely going to hit the glue, the glue, I mean the, the dowels. So get glue on here really well, and then that way we can put this on, okay? So, all right, let's do it. And we can always go in afterwards and hit the sides. So don't worry about that. We kind of just want to get it. And I forgot about the hole. So there's all that glue that's not getting anything. <laughs> so we're putting that down. I'm just going to grab my little glue strings that I'm seeing right now. Okay. And then I'm going to turn it this way and I'm going to add glue in between here. Okay. So I'm just going to take And just hold it down while it's drying. Then you can always take it from the side and put more glue there. But oh my gosh, this is super, super, super cute. And, and I'm gonna flip it this way. See how stable it is? It's not flipping over. Yes, and look at those coins. I love it! <laughs> Here's the back. So let's just go in here and make sure it's glued down. So there's always space right here. So you can just go in and, you know, get it with the glue gun this time. Really well. I think that's good. I'm gonna hit it on this side. So 
So all that's left to do is just getting your little tool right here and getting out all the glue, all the glue um, webbing. I don't even know what to call it. All right, that's it. I hope it was, I hope you love it. Look at them go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right. See you next time. Please like our video, uh, post a comment, questions. We're totally here. And then if you have any special requests, please let me know. And that's YouTube, Instagram, or Facebook. All right. Bye guys. <laughs>